Side effects of vaccines usually appear at the time they are given or in the immediate days and months following. It is important to remember that the COVID-19 vaccine trials commenced early last year and that these participants have been followed for many months now and will continue to be observed for many years to come. As real-world vaccine data collection occurs around the world, any adverse events or side effects will be logged into global registries and these databases will be shared across countries and healthcare systems. There has been blatant misinformation circling on social media recently, suggesting that the COVID-19 vaccines can lead to fertility issues, which has led to much apprehension amongst women of childbearing age. This is of great concern given that the same demographic makes up much of our first line of defence, the healthcare workforce, where at this moment vaccine confidence is crucial in our health professionals. There were reports suggesting that a very small portion of this spike protein resembles part of another protein that is involved in the formation of the placenta, known as syncytin-1. But the sequence of amino acid similarity is very short. They share exactly four amino acids in total. To put this in perspective, syncytin-1 is made up of 538 amino acids, while the spike protein is made up of 1,273 amino acids. So the crossover and similarity is negligible. Several experts and healthcare organizations have come forward and fully debunked any claims that the body's immune system would confuse the two and generate an autoimmune response. In other words, the sequence and the structure of this four amino acid sequence is not enough to form any antibodies that would stop the placenta from forming. In fact, if you were to get naturally infected with COVID-19, you would still be exposed to this sequence anyway due to the coronavirus' spike protein, so it would not be a valid reason not to get vaccinated. Because the vaccine and the actual COVID-19 disease have this same spike protein in common, so the risk would be the same. There is currently no evidence that antibodies formed from COVID-19 vaccination causes any problems to pregnancy, including the development of the placenta. In addition, there is no evidence suggesting that fertility problems are a side effect of any vaccine. In fact, female volunteers that have been involved in clinical trials have gone on to become pregnant. What is known from the data so far is that COVID-19 is really dangerous for pregnant women, where there have been cases of pregnant patients in hospitals with severe disease. If placental rejection were true, then women who contracted COVID-19 would present with increased miscarriages and placental abnormalities, and there is currently no evidence of this in the past year. In fact, the lasting symptoms of long COVID are far worse than any short-term vaccine side effects. Thankfully, now that the general safety of these vaccines has been proven in healthy volunteers, many of the drug companies are now pivoting to clinical trials in pregnant and lactating women, and there are reports of some pregnant women already getting vaccinated in the real world.